Hi, this is Simon Judd. This is an extract from one of our Insights packages, and this one concerns membrane bioreactor configurations, immersed versus side stream. So we're back with our immersed MBR, starting with the process tank, which has an anoxic and an aerobic zone. The wastewater is fed to the tank via fine screens, normally of one to two millimeter rating, and the sludge from the tank is directed to the membrane tank, which is fitted with a membrane from which permeate is extracted. The sludge from the membrane tank is then directed back to the anoxic zone of the process tank. There are two blowers associated with this process. One, the process blower provides fine bubble diffusers, diffused air to the aerobic zone of the process tank, and the other provides coarse bubbles which scour the membrane in the membrane tank. And then finally, waste is discharged from the process in order to maintain the solids concentration at an appropriate level. Now for a side stream system, the sludge is pumped directly into the membranes, which are normally multi-tubed, horizontally oriented and connected in series to provide this long serpentine path, which then gives a decent amount of permeate for a single pass through those membranes. The sludge, as with the immersed system, is returned to the anoxic zone of the process bioreactor. In order for this process to work, you need somewhat higher pressures than would be required for the immersed system, which means that pump has to be upgraded a little. For the airlift system, the pump is replaced with a regular sized pump as before and the sludge directed this time to the base of some vertically oriented multitude membranes from which the permeate is taken and the sludge directed to the anoxic zone of the process tank as before. But the key to the airlift system is the membrane blower which combines with the pump sludge to produce what's called slug flow up through the multitude membranes and that slug flow is reasonably effective at providing a decent flux through the membrane. So that's it. Those are the membrane configurations appropriate for aerobic MBR technologies.